Gentlemen, JKD Academy. My name is Sifu George Hajnasa. This is my student, Brian. Yeah, I think it's Brian. Anyway, <laughs> I want to go over some things that I've seen uh, on JKD that uh, kind of makes me go, hmm, you know. Uh, for so many years I've been practicing JKD, I always consider myself a student. And I watch Siju Bruce all the time, and I, I study him really close, and I still find a lot of faults with my JKD, and I try to, you know, perfect it as much as I can. So every day is a struggle, even though I teach five days a week. I've been teaching now commercially about 30 years. So, uh, and I've been following uh, C.J. Bruce's teaching and I try to study every book and I, I really emphasize on everything that he says and, and teaches. So when I watch some of the YouTube videos, I notice a lot of instructors that, you know, they go and they do one seminar and they get certified by some instructor because they met him in a different country. So they all of a sudden they become an instructor and they start teaching JKD and I look at them like, the JKD is getting so washed out. It's like, that's why JKD is kind of like, it's so hard to get JKD students because not to say that these guys aren't teaching it, um, you know, the way they want to teach it because it's supposed to be JKD uh, self-expression. But the expression is getting way so over overlooked because a lot of people, they're just making it, what I did in my previous video was chop suey. So they're just taking everything that they know from other arts they learned and they really, they forget the actual core and the base what C.J. Bruce meant. So the way I always taught it, I always took the Wim Chun system and I based it on that very strongly beliefs. A lot of people, they just study a little bit of karate, a little bit of MMA, and, and they do some Wim Chun and they do some you know, jujitsu and so forth. And all of a sudden, they, they start teaching JKD by raising the heel up and they think all of a sudden that's JKD. Uh, but they forget all the principles and uh, well, the essence and what we teach every day and we emphasize on in JKD. So I'm gonna go over some of the things that should do and should not do. You can take my word for it, but you could actually kind of solve the problem for yourself because uh, it just kind of makes me shake my head a lot of times on some of these instructors that, you know, it's very hard as is to get students, uh, never mind trying to see like what I call chop suey JKD, okay? So we're gonna go over some, first we're gonna go into the by John stance, which is the, the, the core of JKD, which is what I call the mother, the mother stance, okay? So they, a lot of people that teach in JKD originally was like this, you know, I always thought I'm standing back here because in reality, and a lot of people, they forget about the line that the toes must line up with the arch of the foot or the heel. Now I notice a lot of people, they teach in JKD, okay, because I do karate though, I teach like this, okay, so you can stand like this, raise the heel. So that's the JKD by John stance. So I get people that teach in JKD, they look like this. I'm like, what, what is that? And all of a sudden I see people standing like this, and I look at this, what is that? that that's not a by John stance, this is not JKD. Just because you raise your heel does not make a JKD. And I see people, they stand like this, or they stand like this, or they cover their face, they think they're boxes, because they incorporate in boxing, they cover their, they think, on the street, you're not wearing gloves, you're gonna get punched in the face, you're gonna get double punched, I call it. So stop standing like this, stop standing like this, and raising the heel like this, and I see people, they just think they're Bruce Lee, they just punch like this, and they leave the other hand down here. In reality, that doesn't work, you're gonna get your head knocked off. So they, some of the things you should really emphasize on, proper structure, you notice my hand is here, I throw, my hand remains up. I always tuck the chin, protect my body, protect my center line, which is the most important, it's crucial in JKD. A lot of people, they just stand like this, thinking that's JKD, what are you running? Because you're not going anywhere here, okay? So you just, I'm standing like this with Brian, and we're gonna demonstrate some things from a, a bad by John stance. So I'm gonna stand like this, Brian, okay? So if I'm moving to the left lead, so he's gonna go like this, I'm gonna go here, it's my JKD, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna hear, look, I'm open. Okay, boom, he's gonna knock me out, okay? So now I'm gonna stand, I'm gonna raise the heel, look, I'm bringing my face right to, to him. What do you think, he's gonna stand there as a dummy? So a lot of people, they stand like this, and they do this stuff. He's gonna come over, and look, my hand's like this, they put the shoulder up, what is that? that that's not JKD, I don't stand like this. They do this stuff, okay? They're gonna come and knock you out this way. And, and they're like, stand like this. You open everything up, you're gonna get kicked right in the groin, you're gonna, you're gonna be, you know, calling for the doctor very quickly. <laughs> and it's like, I've seen people stand like this, and the by John, they're gonna kick you in the face because you're like this, thinking, oh, I know JKD. That's not JKD. Proper structure, proper stance, I see everything coming. See, I'm here, boom, okay? Everything structure here, okay? Everything moving here. See, this is JKD here, boom. I, hit, I stay in a good, proper structure. Because I'm ready for him. Anytime he comes, it doesn't matter. Okay? So I'm always ready on guard. 
But this stuff has to go. This is awful. That's awful. I've seen like some good instructors on JKD. They're standing like this. And they're like doing this. And they're like, they, they, they turn so much like this, they look like this. And all of a sudden they're back here like that. But this is what really blows my mind. It's like the, the heel is up like this so high. You know, it's like, what is this? So that's, that's a no-no. And I've seen some people, they don't believe in trapping, which is JKD's five ways of attack. You got single direct or simple direct, whatever way you want to look at it. Okay, attack by combination, which is ABC, and HIA, which is hand immobilization attack, which is part of JKD five ways of attack. And you got PIA, and you got attack by drawing. So the, the HIA, which is the core, is the most important. When I show the gates, I said, if you're not practicing the gates, you're not practicing JKD. If you don't understand the theory of close range combat, because that's when you can use hand trapping. Okay, so you don't understand JKD. If you think JKD is just kick and one punch, it's not gonna work. JKD, when we do the hand trap, not necessarily gonna stop from a touch and hand position. Again, not in the stance. I've seen people stand like this. Raise the heel and they're doing this. Okay, or they do like this. Close fist, you're already closed. You cannot open after the fact. You're supposed to open, close the moment of impact. So you cannot stand like this in the JKD by John. You cannot stand like this with the fist closed and you cannot stand in that stance. You kick your hand in the groin. Your, your trap and ends, that's why your trapping doesn't work. Because if you go in here, you're standing like this, you kick your toe over. The, the proper stance, I'm standing here, the, I'm, well, he's gonna kick, he's gonna come with a hook kick, that's fine, okay? Because I'm, I'm here, I, I protect it by turning my foot inward here. I cannot stand like this. He's, oh, I've seen people sit back here. There's no, why would I trap somebody who's so far away? I was like, and then I, all of a sudden I'll do this. <laughs> okay, I want to trap you, to block me. Uh, that doesn't work. I so we block you. <laughs> I know it's so slow. So that it's the whole idea of trapping is is close range combat. Okay. So we when we stand here. So let's say we focus strictly on the upper body, but this is not from here positioning. Okay. So when I go here, it's not for this because I don't expect them to know trapping. Okay. I, from here, I don't expect to do any of this stuff. I expect them. He puts his hands on me, bah, I hit, trap. See, this is the trap. So when I go here, I hit, this is the trap. He goes with the other hand, see? This is the trap. I trap him here, so he can't pull it back. So that's the whole, both hands, see? This is the trap. The trap is not from here, okay? I don't, this is just for repetition when you teach it during class. And never ever stand this way. Oh, I've seen people do this. Okay, I have to see people do this. Yeah, maybe for show. So, but never stand like this tall, raise the heel this high, you know? So these are the things that you need to eliminate and, uh, you know, and try to really study these instructions that are really washing out JKD, you know? So now, I've seen people, all they teach is that you can go punch. I was watching this guy, he's punching like this. He's trying to do the one-inch punch, and he's trying to imitate. But yeah, in the background is an MMA guy punching the pad like a mule. And I mean, if I was watching those two guys, and I would see this JKD guy doing this, and a weak punch, what I call it, is very weak. And I got an MMA guy behind him punching like a mule. Who do you think I'm gonna go to, to train? You think I'm gonna go to the JKD guy? No, I'm gonna go to the, to the MMA guy. It's a, to me, it looks like 10 times better style. Because because he's, he's punching harder. But it's not necessarily true because JKD is MMA. We, we, we core the MMA, okay? So everything starts here. So when you're Jeet Kune Do punch, it should be very powerful. It's not a Jeet Kune Do punch, it's not this. This is for demonstration. A lot of people say, okay, put your hip into it. Where? This is not putting anything into it here. There's no punching. The punching is when you put your hip this way. So everything, a lot of people have said they punch, they drop their rear hand to punch. So the hand, everything gotta be hit. So everything has to move simultaneously. So if you watch the, the, these things, these are not, these are just not, it's not proper JKD and it's not, you should scratch it out of your life, okay? And a lot of them, they don't believe in self-defense for some reason where JKD is scientific street fighting. A lot of them, they emphasize strictly on a stop kick, okay, and a straight lead punch. What happened to scientific street fighting? You think a fight is gonna go, the guy's gonna square up with you? No guy's gonna square up with you on the street. 
They're either going to push you, they're going to shove you, they're going to attack you, they're going to haymaker. They're going to come at you like, like crazy with everything they have. So you better learn some self-defense stuff. A lot of the guys, JGD is not one punch, one kick, kill all. You know, because you got people attacking you with a knife, gun, club. And people are going to come at you with chairs. They're going to come at you with broken bottles. People are going to come at you with anything. They're going to come at you with this, throw it like this. They don't care how they throw. What do you think they're going to say? Okay, I'm going to throw you a jab, a cross. Make sure you block me. Yeah, everything looks beautiful. But in reality, it doesn't work. But because so most people, they're going to come at you, boom, boom, boom. They're going to move at you really strong and hard. They're not going to give you a chance to defend it. So it's very important that you emphasize you need to learn JGD self-defense. It's very, very important. So that's why a lot of times in my video, somebody grabs you by the throat. I hit, right? This is this is has nothing to do with JKD, right? This is part of Aikido. So now why do I teach it? Because I take a little bit of Aikido because I know this in reality works. But I kept everything simple, simplicity. And then when I break, I could break them here. I could take anything I want, then I could use my JKD here. So I incorporate JKD into Aikido, Jiu-Jitsu, whatever you want to call it, okay? So, um, but it's very important that you learn scientific street fighting. You need to learn self-defense. Is it? That's what it's all about. So, so a lot of people when they watch it, they think JKD is this, JKD is this, JKD is this, JKD is this. You stand like this, you punch like this. this. You stand like this, you punch like this. You do this, and that's JKD. You do this, and that's JKD. JKD is way above and beyond that. Okay, that's the reason I studied other arts, but JKD is the mother of all. It's the core. It's everything. Like, I would never, ever give up JKD. My whole life I've been teaching it, and I will never, ever give it up because it's the best style. I hate to refer to it as a style. It's the best art on the planet to me. If you disagree, that's fine. But I can prove you. I can show you that JKD is so evolved. JKD is so well-rounded that we can fight from any position, from any angle, from any attack, we can defend no matter what, which way you come at us. So JKD is not weak, okay, and it's not a soft style. JKD is soft and hard at the same time. So I could I could go soft and I could hit you, and like when I refer to as the block, when I do a block, this is a block, this is a block. See, it's no longer a block, it's a strike. So when I do Tan Sao, that's a Tan Sao. This is a Jan Sao, or Fan Sao. So if I, they're now no longer a weak hit from JKD, everything's, I could turn it into an actual strike and hurt my opponent. A lot of people teach it weak and they look at you and they say, oh, that's a weak JKD. Nobody's gonna study it. So please stop teaching this what I call JKD BS out there. It's not for us. You need to show and, and really look into it and search. do a little bit more research before you start putting videos out. And if you don't like my videos, that's fine. That's why you're here watching me. All right, I appreciate you and thank you. Uh, and we'll, don't forget to subscribe, Brian. Thank you so much and we'll talk soon.